If you're looking for a new affordable tattoo machine, then I have a new one today that I wanna talk about and do a review about, and that is the Prime Pen. Now, what do we have here? This is a collaboration between Prime, Critical, and Bishop. This machine was sent to me by Kingpin Tattoo Supply, but don't get that twisted, because I'm gonna give you my honest review of what I personally think about this machine. Now, I tattooed with this at the Motor City Tattoo Expo this past weekend. I did a 27-hour piece with just this machine, and then I worked with it the whole next week. I have about a total of 50 hours working with this machine, so let's talk about it. Now, my name is Ryan Metric. I've been professionally tattooing for about 14 years now. I'm also known as rm.inc on Instagram, and I'm gonna post, if you're interested, the tattoos that I've done this week and at the Motor City Tattoo Expo using this machine. So check that out. It'll be a bonus at the end of the video. What do we have here? So as you can see, this is a pen style tattoo machine. Pen styles are what it's all about nowadays. They're just kind of the new wave of tattoo machine that makes life easier, in my opinion. This machine is a collaboration. This is by Prime. Prime is a needle brand. Prime made this machine with critical, swappable battery supply up top, magnetic, and a Bishop Motors in here. Now we all know Bishop makes quality tattoo machines. We all know Critical makes amazing power supplies. And we all know that Prime makes solid needles. So when you put all three of those ingredients together, what do you get? You get this machine. So what is the catch of this machine? What is the point of this machine? What are they aiming for? The number one thing about this machine is that it's affordable. This machine is super affordable. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not just saying this, but the quality of this honestly blew me away. It really did for the price point of this, the quality was fantastic. I'm gonna talk about the price a little bit later and I wanna talk about the features first and at the end I'll hit you with the price, which like me, you'll probably be shocked. Okay, so the build quality of this to me is really solid. I mean, I really like the sleek vibe of the body. It just feels really nice in the hand, you know, it's not too heavy, but it's not super light. Now I would say it's lighter than the Critical Torque. I couldn't find the exact weight measurements on this, but I do know the Critical Torque is about 4.8 ounces and this is definitely a little bit lighter and it's a little bit less bulky in the hand. It does come with a newly designed critical battery pack that's on top, it is magnetic. It's definitely on there snug too, it doesn't just fall off. You kinda have to work at it to get it off, but it works really great. The balance of this machine is really nice, it just feels really good in my hand specifically. One of my favorite things so far about this machine, and it was actually a gripe that I had with the critical torque, and that is the grip. Now I know a lot of people don't like a tapered grip, but me personally, I am a huge fan of a tapered grip. And this grip size for me is absolutely perfect. I don't really have to wrap it too much. It's just, it's about the perfect girth, the perfect width for my hand. It just feels really nice. I could never get super comfortable with the critical torque. It had a fatter grip and my, my fingers just didn't feel fully comfortable. This is absolutely perfect. And the texturized grip is just really good. Since we're talking about grips, there's also a disposable grip that was designed just for this machine. And if you look, you can see that the disposable grip is almost identical to the real grip. Now, I wanna talk about something else. Let me show you how you first you put the grip on. You just turn this little bad boy like this. You can turn it right off. And the disposable grip goes right on and twists simply just like that, as most machines do. It's nothing fancy, but it works very well. Now, I'm one of the first to admit that I'm not a huge fan of disposable grips in general. I really don't like them. That being said, this is probably one of the most comfortable disposable grips I've used, and I don't know, it's like a very heavy, thick silicone, and it's a little bit sticky, and it feels exactly like the original grip for the machine, and it also has the tapered bottom, which I absolutely love. I don't know if these are released yet, they'll probably be coming in the future, but I'll definitely have to get them because it just makes the ease of use and the sterilization and cleanup that much easier. Using this machine is definitely very simple. It's as simple as a machine can possibly B, and I wanna show you, there's a power button right here, and what you do is you just hold the power button for a few seconds, and there's a screen at the top of the machine that turns on, and then you have two buttons. You have your volt power up, and you have your volt power down. I mean, honestly, it doesn't get much simpler than that. To turn the machine on, you press the power button, and there you go. Can you hear it? It starts right up. If you wanna turn it off, you press it again. If you wanna turn the machine completely off, you just hold the power button, and it turns off. 
I mean, it doesn't really get much simpler than that. So for those of you that want a simple machine, you don't want something that's overly complex, that's just kind of plug and play, I would say this is perfect if you don't want all the crazy bells and whistles that something like the Critical Torque would have. But if you do want the bells and whistles, then check out the Critical Torque, and I did a review up here that I'll post. Check that out, it's a great machine. Let's take apart this bad boy. I'll show you how to disassemble and clean the machine. So the first thing you have to do is you wanna twist the grip off like this. You twist the grip off, it comes off easily. Now the machine also came with this little tool here and it's designed to fit right in this area and you just twist it like this to get it completely off. Now this machine does require a little bit of lubrication and they also released an official video showing how to do that, which I'll link up to. But if you wanna watch me do it, I'll show you how to do it. You twist this part off here and there's a couple points you wanna hit with the lubrication and then you'll be all set. To reassemble it, you take your grip and you just twist it all the way back on and it's as simple as that. This machine does come with a one year warranty, which is pretty awesome. So I don't know if you get a dud, which you probably won't, but if you do, you can contact them and they'll just take care of it. Or if something breaks, I'm sure if you have issues or if you drop the battery, I mean, most of these tattoo companies that are reputable will definitely work with you to solve any issues that you have. Also, currently there is two different stroke lengths you can get for this machine. There's the 3.4 and there's the 4.0. I currently have the 4.2 because that's just what's comfortable for me and what I use in all my tattoos. You can tell what stroke length you have by looking at the machine. There's dots here indicated. As you can see, I have four of them for the 4.2 stroke. And if you have the 3.4, there'll be three dots on here. Now, currently, they only have the two stroke lengths. Some of you could look at that as a con, but for me, I use a 4.2, so that's perfect. But, you know, I'm sure in the future, they'll probably be adding, you know, maybe a 5, maybe a 2.5, you know, maybe a 12. Who knows? Let's talk about the performance of this machine. So right off, we have a custom Japanese built Bishop motor, and I know you're all familiar with Bishop. They make powerhouse tattoo machines themselves, but here they decided to collab and put one of their custom Bishop motors in this machine, and it's really awesome. This machine is definitely powerful. I mean, you know, there's no give on it, so it's just a straight, hard-hitting machine. The volt range on here is 4.5 to 13 volts. You know, so when I was tattooing with it all weekend, I was keeping it around, I would say, 7.8 to 8.5 volts, somewhere in that range. I'm, I'm usually around eight to nine, depending depending on the machine I'm using. I was keeping this one, I would say, in like the low eights though, and it ran really good for me. It definitely hits hard. I would say this is a hard hitting machine, so you'll have no problem doing line work, but it doesn't hit as hard as the Critical Torque. Now the Critical Torque to me hit super hard, and it was a little bit hard to finesse that machine, where this one was perfect to finesse it, or I could just blast solid black or color fill with just no problem. As far as needle compatibility, I mean, I'm guessing if you use prime needles, it's probably be the most compatible, the most performance for the machine. That being said, this past couple weeks, I've used about, I don't know, five, six different needle brands and I didn't have any issues. I ran quadrants through these, I ran the primes through these, I ran peak needles through these, I ran bishop needles through these, I ran needle jig needles through these, and I absolutely had no issues at all. Every needle ran perfectly. I even ran a couple cheap Amazon needles, I'm not gonna lie. I had some really cheap needles that are like, you know, I didn't tattoo with them. Well, I tattooed with some of them, but not the ultra cheap cheap ones, but I'm just saying I wanted to see and every needle ran flawless to this machine. I didn't have one backup, one break, one leak, nothing. Everything fit snug, nothing was loose. It was really good and it passed the test for needles. I want to check out the noise of this. Let me turn this on real quick and you know, I'll let you hear the noise of this. Now I found this machine to be fairly quiet. I don't know if you can hear it right there. Let's put it right up to the mic. Let's listen. And of course it'll be quieter with a needle in there. I hope I was, was I supposed to run this with no needles? I hope not. I would say so for a quiet machine, it's on the louder side. It was a little bit louder than my Critical Torque, and it was a little bit louder than like a Cheyenne Soul Nova Unlimited. That being said, it's still quiet. All the new modern machines are quiet. You're not gonna give anybody a headache. It's not gonna bother you or distract you. And if you're coming from coils, it'll be amazing, honestly. Why are you still using coils? I get it, you're old school, I get it. You know, you wanna be the vibe, bruh. Now let's get on to one of the juiciest parts of this machine. Yes, I said juicy, and what is that? It's the critical battery supply, the critical power pack. Now this is a new critical battery made for this machine, I believe, it might be out there, but I think it's custom to this machine. And you know what, it's absolutely amazing. And critical, I've been using them for years, I think most people have. Their battery sources are just, 
unrivaled, to be honest. To me personally, nothing is better than a full wireless machine. It's just great. It makes our job so much easier. Why wouldn't you want to use one? As far as the battery life on these, I used this machine, like I said, at the Motor City Tattoo Expo, and I had it running almost the whole time. I only really turned it off if I went to the bathroom or something, but I had it running for the straight 10 hours a day. I would say these batteries last anywhere from, we'll say seven to eight hours, but I definitely got a solid eight hours of performance, which is absolutely fantastic because I mean, most normal tattoos don't take eight hours. So when the battery almost died, it never actually died on me. But when I saw it was getting low, I had a second one that was plugged in and charged and I just quick magnetic swapped it like this and it was absolutely fantastic and easy. And I think these batteries lasting eight hours is just as up to par as any other machine on the market, the critical torque, the Cheyennes, the Blast, the Injectus, the Hass. Another thing that's so cool about this is this battery pack is compatible with all the critical dock charging stations. So if you already have a critical torque, you can use the same dock charging station and charge this battery with it, or you can just buy another one. And it's just, I, I just love it. It's like this accessory thing where everything's compatible, it's fully functional together, and it's absolutely amazing, and it makes it easy. So say you have a critical torque, and you know, that's your special occasion just for color, or you want to be fancy and this is your daily workhorse you can just buy one and charge everything together it's absolutely fantastic versatile and easy to use i'm sure you're asking yourself which i asked myself is what is the price of this machine now, i want to talk about it this is where this machine absolutely thrives to me the performance is there it's equivalent and as good as any of those other machines on the market but the price difference is absolutely I don't know how they did it. Currently, there's two options. You can get just the machine that comes in for $399, which is absolutely, listen to that one more time, $399. $3.99 for this machine. Or the other option, you can get the full set, which comes in at $5.99. Let me say that one more time too. $5.99 for the full set that comes with two batteries, the docking station, disposable grip to try, some prime needles to try, and this little jobby do that'll work on other RCA adapted tattoo machines. That's absolutely fantastic. Why is that fantastic, may you ask? Well, let's slow down here. Let's talk about the value per performance for money, which they were set out to do. The the idea of this was to have an affordable machine, super affordable, that had the performance to match, and they hit it out of the park with this one. This is the only machine on the market that has this price point that is this quality of machine that has Critical, Prime, and Bishop collaborating together. Nothing can compete with this. So what are the competitors? We have the Critical Torque, we have the Bishop Power Wand. Those are not the competitors to this. Those are higher end machines with more bells and whistles to them, yet the performance of this one matches those. And those machines are what? A thousand plus dollars. 399. Then we have the Akis M1. We have the Inkject of Flight. What is it? The X1. And the FK Irons Flux. Same thing. Those machines are all a thousand plus dollars. More bells and whistles. The quality of this is just as good and it tattoos just as well. Something closer to a competitor of this would be the FK Irons 1 machine. And I hate to say it, but that's a little bit more expensive. That's what? 599 for just the machine. This is 399. And honestly, the ergonomics of that machine are just not good. It's hard to take the battery off. It's hard to put the battery in. It just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel as good. I think that wasn't a big win for them where this is. Then you have the Cheyenne Soul Nova Unlimited, which I've used for years, but once again, it's a thousand dollars, but it's as simple as this, it's as plug and play, but for a thousand dollars, I'm getting the same performance out of this machine for 399. How can you beat that? I would say one of the best machines in the market that comes close to this would be the Axis Valhalla. But once again, that doesn't have a magnetic swappable battery. It doesn't have critical battery. It doesn't have a solid Bishop motor in it. It's not a prime machine. And the price still is comparable, but it's a little bit higher. And that's an RCA machine. So you can't use it wirelessly unless you make it heavy. I don't know. I mean, this honestly, there's nothing on the market like this machine. Let's talk about some of the cons of this machine. What are the cons? What are the weaknesses? It's not the price. It's not the performance. But there are a few things that, you know, you could maybe, and for me personally, I would slightly improve, you know, and I'm really nitpicking these, but let's talk about them. The number one thing all of you are gonna say, and I, and I agree, and it's probably very hard to do, is that it doesn't have interchangeable stroke lengths. Everybody wants a machine where you can just twist it, change the stroke length, or it comes with extra little cams, different strokes that you can put in and change it. I understand, there's a machine like that, it's way more expensive, that's not what this is going for, but that could be a con to you. Another one is the grip side, it's not a con to me, because this is perfect, 
but I mean, currently there's only one grip size. So I'm sure in the future, they're gonna add a larger grip size. You know, just wrap your grips bigger. You know, it's nitpicky complaints that don't matter. Another super picky one is you could complain about the battery life. I mean, you know, if eight hours isn't enough for you with a backup battery, then I don't know what you're doing. But I mean, you know, I would like to see in future all tattoo machines have just a better battery. I mean, imagine if this lasted 20 hours, it'd be amazing. And there was one small thing for me personally. Now, when I wrapped this machine with barrier film up here, see the screen is at the top. Now, when I tape, turn that bad boy off. When I tape the barrier film over, it kind of covered the volts where I really couldn't see it. So I don't know, personally, I would maybe, if, I, it's probably hard to do, but I would implement the screen on flush on the side, kind of like the critical torque has, but you know, just flusher on the back. I mean, and that, that to me, you'd be able to see the screen easier, have the buttons on this side without having to tape or wrap the top. Once again, it's nitpicking. It's not a necessity. I can work around it. It doesn't bother me, but you know, I'm really stretching for some cons here, honestly. We have an affordable tattoo machine that was released by Prime, Critical, and Bishop, and they're absolutely just killing it. One year warranty, I don't know, different stroke lengths, magnetic top, swappable batteries. I would highly recommend this for beginner tattoo artists. If you're a beginner tattoo artist, you know, there's this thing where you try to buy a machine that's, you know, you think if you have the best machine, I'm gonna buy a $2,000 tattoo machine, it's gonna make you better. The quality of this is just as good as those and it's simpler to use. So as a beginner, why wouldn't you start off with that? This is a perfect machine for a beginner and a pro. You know, I'm to the point where I don't want bells and whistles because I know how to tattoo too. I'm not worried about it. I, I know my voltage by sound, by feel. I know what it's like. I want something that I can just turn on, hit a rough voltage I like and adjust on the fly and it feels comfortable in my hand. It has the power and performance to tattoo and do what I need it to do and that's it. It makes my day so much easier. It's powerful enough to use it for lining. I pushed a large liner. I use 14 round shaders with ease. You know, I mean, that's a pretty big liner, right? I use 23 plus mags on it, it worked easy. I use small liners, I use tight bug pin fives that work great. I use 11 curve mag, I use my signature seven round shader. Well, it should be my signature, but it's my main needle. I love it with this machine, it worked really good. Color packing was great, black and gray was great, lining was great. I mean, what more could you add? Ask for. And depending on how you tattoo, there's two different stroke lengths, so you know you can adjust it from there. If you want the 4-2 or the 3-4, you know, you can do that. If you want to get this machine, I mean honestly, for me personally, the best place to get it is Kingpin Tattoo Supply. I do get most of my stuff through there. Not all of it, but most of it. And it's absolutely awesome. Now the release date on this is what? Wait a minute. I think it's today, the date of filming. It's March 11th. So I mean Go out, check this out, it's badass, bruh. And once again, you know, the best thing about this is the price point. The $3.99 for the machine is like old school tattoo machine prices. It's absolutely, it kind of blew my mind, to be honest. I was expecting it to be way more. And for $5.99 for the whole set, that's amazing versus spending a thousand plus. I'm really starting to get sick of spending 700 to a thousand plus per tattoo machine as I usually end up buying or getting a tattoo machine, I don't know, maybe every year, every other year. And it's not for any reason, but you know, I've, you know they do wear. And as much as you tattoo, the batteries and the motors die out. So I'd be way happier spending 399 every other year, every year for this bad boy. It's just really good. I give it a nine out of 10. I mean, and only because I have those griping, super nitpicky, annoying things that, that don't even matter. But I mean, honestly, 10 out of 10, come on. Think where you started. Let's go back 20 years. I mean, this is game changing. It really is. Everyone's just so fancy and getting used to the new tech and they want the super bells and whistles. You're overlooking what makes your job easy. And that's this. This makes your job easy. Turn on, set your volts, tattoo. That's all I want to do and then go home and play some video games and eat pizza. Pepperoni on my pizza. Yeah, and I like pineapple too, get used to it.